It's my feel-good breakfast show. That's right, we will be chatting to Dr. Darren Green a little bit later on on the show. But on the subject of health, there are a number of recent medical innovations happening across the world that are working to improve our lives or allow us to live a little bit longer. Yeah, there's a few interesting ones that are out there. And I mean, on a serious note, the first drug to improve women's sex drive. Now, U.S. regulators, they've just come up with a drug to improve that. I mean, uh, they say that it will boost women's sex drive. It's designed specifically for a condition that they call acquired generalized hypoactive sexual desire disorder, so HSDD. They say this, this disorder is developed in women who previously were sexually active, causing distress and relationship problems. So they say uh, it coexists with a whole lot of other problems, I guess. But if you have this problem in your relationship, it should be cleared up as soon uh, as possible, I guess. The first drug to improve women's sex drive. Well, we're also looking at something called a cloth cap to help treat depression. Now, this newly designed futuristic soft helmet is a tool for electrically stimulating the brain to identify and treat depression and strokes as well. Soon, the technology could be used by patients at home while doctors monitor them remotely. It's also dubbed the Fitbit for the brain. The cap can diagnose medical conditions by examining brain waves, small electronic pulses fired between the human brain's nerve cells. Uh, it then treats the conditions by stimulating the brain with a low electrical current conveyed via a series of electrodes placed around the cap. Mm, interesting stuff. Hey? Yes, then nanobots. I mean, although nanobots are still mostly in the research and development phase, basic nano machines have already been successfully tested. These tiny robots can be injected into our bodies and they function like our own white blood cells and they destroy bacteria and other pathogens. They also have their own sensors and propulsion systems and uh, could perform small tasks like delivering chemotherapy 1,000 times more powerful than using drugs and would not cause as many side effects to patients like the current treatments do. So that's amazing. Also, other specific types of nanobots that are being developed include cellular repair nanobots that can destroy bacteria, carry oxygen, create blood clots or wounds, and repair cells. Dr. Darren Green is just nodding all the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is interesting stuff that uh, is out there for the food chain medicine for sure. The question we're putting to you, though, is how far are we willing to take technology? Also, Dr. Darren, Darren Green is in the house uh, in a while. In fact, he's sitting where you can't see him. Uh, this is the number to remember, 0839133728. They will be talking about erectile dysfunction. So stay tuned to your feel-good breakfast show. Over to you, Kat.